Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And if you've got a half ton pickup, and you're looking for something with a toy hauler or patio ramp on the back, I don't care if you're looking to load motorcycles or if you're just looking for a cool couples camper with a sweet patio space. This 22RR is perfect. It's 5,015 pounds as we see it here today, empty. It's 29 feet on the nose, tip to tail, so it's a decent size for towing. It's not too long, it's not too heavy. The maximum weight with cargo is still under 7,700 pounds. This is half ton towable all day, every day, obviously for appropriate, like late model tow package, half ton should handle this no problem. But what I love about this one, is yes, it is technically a toy hauler. It has a ramp on the back, it's got the patio, and that's cool, I like that. But frankly, this is just a good couple's layout. Like, very similar, it's a cool alternative actually, I think, to a 20RD SE Grey Wolf that has that giant rear dinette. If you look at it, this one has a giant rear dinette. But it also has the ability to have a monster guest sleeper. You can open it up into that big patio space. It's a no slide camper that becomes, I don't know, like 35 foot long when you get to your destination. You don't even have to throw a motorcycle or something in the back of this to want this layout. That's what I think is so cool about this one. And it, again, it really for me comes down to just the fact that the ultimate flexibility you get with a model like this, like this is a six adult seating, like giant rear m -m -m mega dinette. You can have everybody and their brother around this thing or not. <laughs> That's again, you can do whatever you want to do with this. Both of these benches uh, fold up. They can get out of the way. We're going to see this in like loading road mode. Uh, in, a, in a few minutes here, we'll see them totally out of the way. But what I like is that you can use one or both benches. You can do whatever you want. This bench over here organically faces right over toward that entertainment center area right there. I don't think this is primarily like, we're going to go camping. We're going to sit in the thing the whole time and we're going to watch TV. Like, that's not how this floor plan right here really strikes me. I suppose you definitely could. But, you know, that's, that's really up to uh, the individual here. Now, uh, what we're looking at over here, these are all sealed edge pressed membrane countertops through the entire RV. And uh, I don't wanna miss this. There is an extra pocket of cargo space up here over on the driver's side. Very handy spot right there. Um, I, I think that's really conducive to like uh, helmets and whatnot. These are six and a half foot tall inside. So walking around, I'm gonna be okay. You'll see in the shower, it's a little tight, but it, it, the skylight lets it work. Speaking of skylights over there in the kitchen, you've got one with that uh, you know shade and you've got a standard 15,000 BTU air conditioner up there and it is centralized. This uh, does not have heating in the floor so that you don't have to worry about like driving over the vents or uh, turning them into a, a foot meat slicer or anything like that as people sometimes call them. Uh, you see that's a uh, 12 volt DC compressor fridge. Cherokee's been doing that for a couple years now and I've been you know, real glad to see that. And you see the backsplash behind the stove is uh, it, it magnets in place. It's fully removable. Now I put it just kind of below that skirted stainless sink on top of that uh, area right there where you could use for like wastebasket storage. That's certainly not what you have to do with it. You could use it for a number of different things. Uh, you could use it as like a serving tray, a cutting board, or my wife says she could use it to adjust my attitude. The possibilities are practically endless. Um, another thing I want to mention here is uh, Cherokee's factory standard converter is actually lithium uh, capable, which is very cool. A lot of people don't realize that you can't just hot swap every battery onto every RV. Um, some converters will only give a lithium battery like up to 80% charge and you don't have that issue here. And how about this? Look at the window coverage on this thing. And remember, we do have that wide open patio space behind us. So, I mean, depending on what you're doing with it, Man, you've got just some absolutely awesome coverage and airflow. The breeze rolling through this thing right now is something I'm really appreciating because it is hot in here. Uh, the uh, uh, power outlets over there by the kitchen. Now, your kitchen prep space, especially when the sink and the stove are in action, it's definitely limited. This isn't like a campsite chef's dream RV. This is a smaller half-ton towable, super flexible thing. Maybe you eat at the campfire. Maybe you go out to eat a couple times and you like to explore the local destinations. Do you guys do that? Like, what actually, let, tell me, what is it uh, you prefer to do? Do you prefer to eat at your site? Do you bring your food with you? Or do you like to use the opportunity to check out the local eateries? I'll tell you, I do a real good mix of both. 
Now you can see our bathroom's right by the entry door. Keep that logged in the old memory banks. When we close this thing up and we look at it in road mode, even though it doesn't have slides, we're still gonna take a little travel view of this thing. Remember that your bathroom up here, your master bedroom, always very quick and easy to access. And this is something, you know, I call this Cherokee doing Rockwood things, that extra large vent fan up there letting in that nice airflow. And this is a big medicine cabinet. There's a big sink in there. I mentioned how uh, in this size of camper, my head is definitely up in that skylight. I am all up in that bubble. It is a larger radius shower though, so I personally have good elbow room. I know that that's one of those things that really varies from individual to individual. Also, keep in mind little things like this. Like there's good space around this toilet. But if you really are like, oh man, I can't believe, like I got a head porcelain, I'm not going to do a plastic toilet. Usually, with very few exceptions, that's a thing that we can swap out for you here at Halo RV pretty easily. So if that's the only thing this RV is not doing, give us a call and let's see what we can work out. Now our bedroom up front here, it's simple, it's straightforward, it's private. I think you spend most of your time not here, but they didn't neglect it. Like we've got the, the full length mirrored closet, so you've got the full cabinet overhead, both sides of the bed benefit from household and USB plugs, which is awful darn nice. And if I rotate us around a little bit here, uh, you see that over here on the door side, you have yourself a big viewing and breeze window. Of course, it has its own uh, privacy draw shade. Now, I was able to walk around the bed pretty easily right there. This is a 60 by 74 Camp Queen. That's all Cherokee uses. They do leave room here. You could go to a true queen. It's going to get awful tight near that wall. It's not going to touch the wall, but it's gonna get awful darn close. I try to point that stuff out because I know that is such a uh, a big time like shopping factor for people. And here's, let me answer this. A lot of people ask, why are these doors slotted up here? There actually could be several reasons for it. In a lot of RVs, it actually has to do with the air return system on the air conditioner. But in the case of this one, it's because of that big XL vent fan. So we're up here in the bedroom. You have opposing breeze windows. You can open those things up and then you can turn on that bathroom vent fan and get like a seven mile an hour breeze coming right across from you. And in those cool evening breezes, oh, that is the best sleeping weather ever. And you can do so without ever opening that bathroom door. Like what if you have a guest in the back and we're about to see some serious guest capacity? You can leave the door closed. Everyone maintains privacy. And if there is the event of a <clears throat> stinky situation down here, I think you're going to appreciate the uh, the larger vent fan. And I have had people say, it's not so much about that, it's more about the sounds that may be coming from the bathroom when we're in there. Remember folks, no matter what RV you're in, these are hollow panel walls. We can all pretty much hear one another if we're being honest here. Now, if you watch our videos, you know I like to close things up and show you everything in road mode. Normally, that's going to mean showing you things like the slide outs closed, but in the case of this one, I think it's uh, most demonstrative, demonstrative. What's the proper way of saying that, by the way? Monster or what, the, the other one? <laughs> to, to show you everything like wide open here in cargo mode. Now, the thing is, remember, one of the ultimate benefits of this floor plan is its flexibility. So if you wanna convert this down into uh, a, like a two person separate sleeper, you can. You wanna convert it into one big giant super lounge sleeper, you can. You wanna convert it into like a, a special headboard, uh, kind of almost sort of like a camp queen kind of bed. You can do that too. And in that headboard camp queen arrangement, remember in the evening hours, your guest would be facing your entertainment center over here should you choose to add a TV. Very, very handy by the way, for getting uh, those, those uh, grandkids who are all for you know the entire day, like uh, making them go swimming for two hours didn't wear them out. That's a good way to get their little body settled down and let them just go right out. Now the RV we're looking at today, if you look right at the top above that uh, smooth metallic sweep, you see that black thing sticking up. That's our solar panel. This has the Cherokee juice pack on it. Those come, you can either get nothing, 50 or 100 watts there. Uh, it, it's not the be all end all of solar, but where it's really handy is somebody like me who casual camps. My RV spends a lot of time in storage. I like to know that power tongue jack's gonna be there to make it easy to get hooked up to my weight distribution system next time I'm there. And that solar package is an amazing battery tender. Um, this is gonna look funny, 
but on one of the uh, Cherokee RR models, the rear ramp, as it were, you're going to see the spare tire, if optioned, up in that front pass-through space. And you're like, why did they do that? Well, normally they would go on the bumper, but obviously this one doesn't have a rear bumper, so that's not exactly an option here. And again, between the bedroom, the, uh, the, the hallway, the entry door, and over the dining, some pretty decent campsite window coverage on one of these right here. Uh, just below the steps, you might see that little white flag kind of flapping in the breeze. That right there is a propane cooker hooker next to your outside TV station. So if you want to do a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, chilling and grilling outdoors, you got room to do all that stuff right there. Just throw a cooler by the tires and you're good to go. Um, the uh, uh, patio platform on the back here. So this is a 3,000 pound loading limit when the ramp is in the down position that does cut down to uh, 1500 pounds up here in the patio position because it doesn't have anything below it now even with my pandemic poundage you could fit me and three other copies of me up there and still have 700 some odd pounds left to go you, you hear oh it drops to 1500 you, you get nervous uh, 1500 is more than enough for a patio space here for four adults and even a couple little kids and a pomeranian running around now up top there you got that flood load lighting as well as a backup camera which is cool and you see that this does have that uh drop down kind of screen wall arrangement here let me actually get you uh, a little bit better look at that kind of in the half and half sort of position here just to let you complete the visual as it were i would really like it and they used to do this years ago if there was a ramp to floor transition flap those things are not hard to add but there is a gap right there and as someone like i grew up riding four wheelers and stuff that's something that i kind of look for for easier loading now when you're on a four wheeler you got four tires you're pretty darn stable if you're on two tires loading stuff up in there you know like you got your full dresser you got your gold wing whatever i don't think the last thing i think you want is instability um now on these interesting note on no slide cherokees stabilizer jacks are optional blows my mind uh, I, I cannot imagine ever intentionally building one without them here at Halid RV. I doubt most dealers do, but just so that you're aware, they are technically optional. And this right here is a uh, an air vent. So if you are loading something that does have a combustion engine, you might be blowing some exhaust into the camper and you don't want to be breathing that exhaust the whole time. That's what that's for. Now, this is perfect right down here. Take a look at this. First of all, it's great because remember, we have limited outside storage on one of these uh, under that bed area. So the sewer hose caddy is awesome. They put those on all the RR models. But are you noticing that adjustable suspension hanger? If you want a little extra ground clearance on this, you can do that. And if you're noticing, there is room here. If you wanted to go to a little bit bigger tire package, you could also do that. Now, in front of the axle space is where all the uh, tanks are located. Uh, this does have enclosed protected holding tanks. It's not a fully enclosed underbelly. I'm not going to try to, to smoke screen you on uh, only half the knowledge there. But notice that below that window, you do have a full outside utility shower and a black tank flush system, which I think is pretty cool. And of course, this model is available also in the black label package, which will give us that gorgeous high gloss fiberglass skin, the frameless windows, and a whole bunch of other things. When we get one of those for you, we'll leave a link for you in the video description so you can check out one of those at any time. And as always, if you'd like to learn a little bit more, like I, I keep a link in the video description for pricing and availability. You can check all of that at home. You never have to call. Whether you're serious or curious, it's right there for you. So when you're ready, we're ready. Take care, stay safe, have fun. And happy Halo camping, everyone. Giant rear m m m mega dinette.